Well, I really hope you like the last edition of the best apps. And now we have the March edition ready just for you guys. I for one enjoy using and trying new apps on a day to day basis. And if you do too, I think we must have something in common here. Just like the fact that we are both subscribed to the Gadgets 360 channel. And while we are at it, why not just hit the bell icon as well. And as always, all the links to download the apps will be down below in the description. So hey everyone, this is Robin here from Gadgets 360. And without any further ado, let's get started with this video. Privacy is a very sensitive subject. Almost all the apps on your smartphones have access to your privacy settings, such as camera access, microphone access, location access, and etc. So how do you know which app is using your camera or microphone? Well, enter access dots. Whenever you open a certain app, access dots will blink the green light if that particular app has access to your camera permissions. And it will blink orange whenever it has a microphone access. You can of course change the location of the marker that appears and also change the colors. Access Dots app is still in beta but it works for me almost every time. What if I tell you that you can set different brightness levels for each individual app? Sounds cool right? Brightness Manager does just that. The app's UI is clear as a day. You just have to choose a particular app you want to set a brightness level for and then use the slider to do so. The app costs Rs 55 on Google Play Store and I think for the feature it provides, it's worth it. This is useful in most cases when a certain app does not support dark mode and you don't want to burn out your eyes opening it up in a dim room. It also has a feature wherein the brightness will go back to the default setting when you quit an app. This one is for all the movie enthusiasts who are watching this video. Basically. This app stores all the information about the movies. It contains info such as the names of the cast, the crew, reviews of the films and more interestingly, there's an entire community tab just for the fans of each movie. I really love this movie Parasite and I enjoy reading what like-minded folks have to say about it. You can add movies to your watch list, review the ones you have already watched to help fellow members and you can create lists both public and private. What's even better is that it shows you the platforms a particular movie is available right now. Let's face it, phones are not getting any smaller and our hands are not getting any bigger. So what's the solution here? Well, this app might help you with that. Even though the name suggests it's a launcher, it's not entirely correct. It's just an overlay which helps you open up apps by just using a gesture. Pretty basic, but quite helpful. The app's UI is very simple, you just have to create zones and then add apps into it. Now you can just swipe from the sides of a display and hover over the apps and choose the one you want to visit. As you can see I've created two zones. One is for all the apps I use on a day to day basis and the other is of course for games. You can create just two zones in the free version. If you want to create more, you'll have to get the pro version from the Play Store. The last app on our list is Targon Browser. You must be thinking, why would I use a browser that I've never heard of before? I'd rather stick to Chrome, Firefox or some other known browsers. Well, this one has features that they don't have. For starters, you can glide through the web pages by just swiping left or right just like with Flip and eBook. The tab at the bottom right consists of useful features such as taking screenshots, downloading images and videos. You can also switch to desktop mode or even enable dark mode. For me, the capture feature is very useful because it allows me to capture scroll shots which is a pretty neat feature in my opinion. There are tons of other settings and gestures as well which you can tweak around as you like. You can even translate the content by just clicking on this button. So these were our picks for the March 2021 best apps. What did you guys think about this list? Are you going to download any of this? Let us know in the comments down below and for all things tech, log on to gadgets360.com.